think and then speak in english not just thinking but speaking out loud so that we can practice thinking and then speaking in english take up this particular technique and start practicing thinking in english hello everybody how are you all hope you're doing great so welcome back to another session of learning english and improving your english speaking skills well today in today's lesson we are going to practice thinking in english how to think in english now it's very important for you to think in english in order to become fluent in english i've already told you a lot about thinking in english and today is going to be a brand new lesson in the series of think in english another lesson where we are going to practice thinking in english so are you all ready for this i'm shivangi gupta your celta certified english language tutor certified by the university of cambridge the uk and before beginning please subscribe the channel so that you do not miss out on any lesson that i post for you on the channel please like the video and share it with your friends too now coming back to today's lesson think in english think and speak in english so what we'll do is we'll practice thinking and speaking in english because practicing is important how are you going to develop this habit of thinking in english if you don't practice it beforehand so in order to develop the skill of thinking in english so that you can speak english fluently whenever you're having conversations whenever the time is required for you to speak in english for that we have to practice and for this purpose i have today selected this beautiful picture as you can see on this particular side of the screen now this picture will serve as the prompt to think in english when we have a proper prompt in front of us it's easy for us to think in english if you're just sitting and thinking randomly it'll become difficult it can be a challenge but when we have a prompt in front of our eyes we have so much to think about and speak and for today this picture is going to be our prompt to practice thinking in english now there are going to be total three stages three steps you can say and we are going to cover all the three steps so from basic to advanced we are going to take this process from basic very basic easy level that is going to be the step number 1 and then step number 3 is going to be something totally advanced and we are going to practice everything today in this lesson you can say that this is a kind of practice plus demo kind of lesson for you and you are going to do it here with me along with me so are you all ready to think in english shall we all begin so let's begin here is the picture i want you to observe the picture very closely now do not speak anything this time is not for you to speak anything before we begin our three step procedure the three step process what you have to do is observe the picture observe as many details as possible there must be silence in your mind do not pressurize your mind into recognizing things naming them in english right now no just observe the picture be the silent observer of this particular picture if you want to take more time what you can do is you can pause the video and you can observe the picture for some more time let's begin with all the three step procedure three step process in order to think in english okay step 1 step 1 of this particular technique is going to be think in words singular words what you have to do is you have to think in single words there are so many things in this picture right now you can speak about so many things you can name them you can give one word description there are so many words that you can use to describe the picture just one word singular words you have to recognize how many words are there hidden inside this particular picture this is going to be really easy for you and this is going to be something that's going to condition your mind to instantly come up with the ideas whenever you're presented with a situation 
So let's begin. Let's look at the picture and let's find out how many words can we use. Can we think about using this particular picture? Okay, so as I can observe in this particular picture, greenery, leaves, climbers and creepers, trees, plants, pots, houses, beautiful street, white, blue, windows, balcony, old man, little girl, a scooty, another girl who's sitting on the side, a dress, t-shirt, t-shirts, clothes, shorts, sky, as you can see the sky on the upper hand of this particular picture, sky, houses, so there are so many things that you can say, wall, there are walls at the side of the houses, so wall, shops, a nameplate as you can see, Agnanti, there is this nameplate Agnanti, now what does Agnanti mean, I'm going to tell you about it at the end of the lesson, I'm going to tell you about this particular picture from where I've taken it, what is it exactly. And it's going to be a beautiful story, believe me. So, Agnanti, there is this nameplate or you can say the signboard, blue color, white and blue. So, there are so many words that we can use to describe. If you're having any more words in your mind to describe, you can write it in the comment box. So this is going to be the step number one. So the step number one is to think in single words. So when we think in single words, we are actually trying to take out so many things out of that particular situation. Now we have created a base. We have a base with so many words. We have created a base for ourselves. Let's move on to the step number two. A little bit advanced step than this. You can call it an intermediate step. So step number two, step number two. Now step number two is to think in sentences. We've already covered the words, the single words. Now we have to use some sentences. We have to construct sentences. Look at the picture once again and let's construct some sentences to describe this particular picture. This is a beautiful street full of greenery. There's a man who's walking on the street. A little girl is playing on the street. There are so many creepers and climbers. The whole scenery looks ethereal. There's a girl sitting on the side pavement. There's a scooty parked beside the girl. There is a red dress displayed on a mannequin by the side of the street. The doors and the windows are of blue color. The white walls of the houses looks amazing. It's a sunny day and people are enjoying. The environment looks calm and happy. There are some keychains displayed on a blue board. There are some t-shirts for sale. It looks as if the old man is the grandfather of these girls. It's a beautiful day. So in this way, we can construct so many sentences. There can be more sentences that you can construct if you have some ideas in your mind and you're free to do that. So this is just an example that I gave you. Construct sentences. Speak in sentences. If you're repeating some sentence structures, that's okay because at this stage, what you're doing is you're picking up the particular words and then constructing sentences around those words. So that's what you're doing and for that, this particular exercise is perfect to take your thinking process one step ahead. Now, we are left with the step number three that is going to be the advanced stage. Now, this is going to be an advanced stage. Are you all ready? Let's move forward to the step number three then. Step number three. Okay, step number three is actually my favorite step. This is the advanced step, but this allows you to speak a lot. 
speak a lot, think a lot and speak a lot. Now what we have done is in step number one and step number two, we have created a very strong base for ourselves. This is the time we have to speak as if we are going to speak in the real time. That is we have to speak about this picture. We have to describe it. No sentences on separate things like for example on scooter, this and that. No. Take this particular picture as a scene in a whole, like a situation and then describe it in such a way. Do not take pauses. You have to speak on this particular picture in the form of a paragraph. It's like you are describing it. You have to form a kind of paragraph. Speak a complete paragraph on this particular picture. So let's do it. Let's describe it. Let's begin. It looks as if a picture was clicked on a beautiful sunny day. The scenery looks from Mediterranean. Look at the creepers and the climbers, which gives an ethereal look to the whole scenery. This street looks so beautiful that I actually want to walk there right now. Look at the girl who's sitting at the side of the street on the patio. It looks as if she's thinking about something. There's an old man on the street with a little girl dressed in pink colored clothes. It looks as if she's having so much fun with her, probably her grandfather. The houses are beautifully decorated with creepers, climbers and so many plant pots. Every house has a balcony and the doors and the windows, even the railings are colored in blue. The walls of each and every house that's colored in white. And I can also see some shops on both sides of the street. Look at the beautiful red dress which is displayed on the mannequin. And someone can even shop some t-shirts or maybe some magnets if he or she is going there. What a lovely day it is. The whole scenery, the whole street is absolutely beautiful. In this way, you have to describe the whole scenery, what you think about the particular uh, situation, what might be going on, what these people are doing, what's there in the scenery. No separate things, but the picture as whole, like I just described. So if you have something more in your mind to speak on this particular picture, just speak it. If you want to speak something more about this picture, you can speak. You're definitely free to speak out loud. So in this manner, you're going to practice think in English. So this was one practice session with this particular picture on thinking in English. Think and then speak in English, not just thinking, but speaking out loud so that we can practice thinking and then speaking in English. You can practice this with any picture of yours. You can take up this particular technique with any picture of yours. And this was one such lesson, practice lesson for all of you. Now, coming to that particular favorite part of mine where I told you I'm going to tell you about this picture. Now, this picture is actually a scene, a street taken from Santorini, Greece. So, this is a particular street in Greece, Santorini. Santorini, we all know that's so famous for its beautiful white houses and white architecture, the mixture of blue and white. Well, anyone can take a guess by looking at the color theme of this particular street and Agnanti that's displayed on this particular board. It means a patio or an area outside either a house or a cafe where people can sit, eat and a sitting area outside a particular building. So that's called Agnanti in Greek language, Agnanti. So that is the meaning of the word that's displayed on the board in this picture. Centorini, a beautiful place, a beautiful place to visit. And yes, it looks like a fairy tale, definitely. So that's it. This is the lesson to think and speak in English. Now, thinking and speaking in English is not a problem anymore. Take up this particular technique and start practicing thinking in English. That's it for today. That is it. Now I'm going to meet you again in a new lesson. Till then everybody take care and bye.